Hi there, it's Kathy Gates and Melissa Hines from the Institute for Pelvic Health. And you're watching Demystifying the Pelvic Floor, weekly videos providing real and simplified pelvic floor education for your real clinical situations. We've got you covered. And today, I'm super excited to chat with Melissa a little bit and learn a little bit more about how it is that you, Melissa, decided to become a pelvic floor therapist. Yeah, so when I was young, I dealt with a lot of autoimmune conditions. So I was always in the care of various um, providers and healers. So I knew that I wanted to be in a healing profession where I could really get to know the patients. And I've always been very hands on and kinesthetic learner. So well, can I stop with... you for just a sec and can you say a little yeah. bit more about the, like your care team that you had when you said you had these wonderful healers helping you? Yeah. So, I mean, for, I battled, um, Lyme disease at around age eight, 10 years old. And so I had kind of traditional doctors helping me get rid of the Lyme disease. Then after that, I had to work on kind of just overall improving my immune system. And that I found the most help through um, more alternative pro providers, functional medicine doctors um, and naturopaths who are really helpful in kind of getting my endocrine system. I had a Hash I have Hashimoto's as a result of the Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. So they were really able to get me on a good path through food, education, um, and various other supplements to help just boost everything that I was kind of lacking mm -hmm. at the time. Um, so then my mom had breast cancer when I was in high school and we had physical therapists coming in and out of the house to help with her various, um, you know, post-op surgeries. So I loved having them in the house. I loved watching. I loved seeing them use their hands to help my mom feel better. Um, so that also kind of reinforced the, oh man, I've got to I'm really interested in this field. I've always loved science too. That's always been chemistry and, and biology have always been my favorite um, cool. subjects. So I went to physical therapy school thinking that I wanted to do more of like the breast cancer rehabilitation. When I got to PT school and started taking classes, I realized, you know, I do really want to help women and that wants, to, I, I want that to be my specialty. So I ended up finding clinical placements where um, I used alternative modalities. I was also a gyrotonic instructor, which is similar to Pilates reformer. It's a piece of equipment. It's more like Tai Chi, three-dimensional movement, um, which I love. How did you so find that? How did you find the gyrotonics? I found the gyrotonic through a, a, P, a PT school colleague who said, Melissa, you would love this. She knew uh -huh. about my swimming background. She knew that I was more into these different modalities and exploring. And so I took some lessons and, and loved it. I had always done the Pilates reformer for movement during swimming. And this I liked even more because it was more like swimming and very rhythmical mm -hmm. in, in nature. Cool. So I went to a clinic in DC who specialized in the gyrotonic. She, my clinical instructor went out on maternity leave, like you know, only a couple of weeks into my clinical. And she's like, Hey, I want you to go observe this person. And she was a pelvic floor therapist. And at the time I had no idea what that even was. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember my first, the first time I observed, it was a woman who was in her mid twenties who had just recently gotten married, had never had sex and she went to have sex and it was extremely painful. Mm -hmm. And she went to probably 10, 15 providers within the DC area. And they all were just sending her to mental health um, specialists and kind of just not knowing what to do with her, mm -hmm. telling her it was anxiety driven. And mm -hmm. she ended up finding my colleague who I ended up working for and got 
a hundred percent better. So I was like, gosh, this is what I have to do. This is very cool. <laughs> so I took all the coursework for that in PT school. And then. So can I, you just, I'm so curious, like, did you get pelvic floor training in PT school or is this something that you, while you were in PT school, sought out on your own, yeah. like outside of your formal PT education. Yeah. So in PT school, we got, we get like an hour lecture on pelvic health mm -hmm. and it's really like the basics, you know, like we are the musculoskeletal specialists. However, in gross anatomy lab, when we're dissecting, we don't dissect any of the like visceral organs or pelvic oh, wow. floor. Um, we got an hour lecture on like, here are Kegel weights. What are Kegels? Like, you know, very basic, wow. and, like, <laughs> archaic almost. Um, <laughs> so I, I did all of the training during physical therapy school. I would go, you know, for a week or long weekends to the Herman and Wallace Institute, where I got the really in-depth training for a pelvic floor. If you're, if you go to PT school, it may have changed since then, but really you're not getting any training of the pelvic floor. Wow. It's really like, this is what it is. If you want to do this, go specialize in it. Um, wow. so, yeah. So that's very, very <laughs> cool. A little bit about how I wow. got into it and I'm so wow. happy I did. Oh my gosh. And you're so good at it. And we're so lucky that you do what you do. So <laughs> exactly. thank you so much for sharing just a little bit about your journey to become the amazing pelvic floor therapist that you are. So, Thanks. and that's a wrap. Did you like our video? If so, hit like and subscribe and please share with your colleagues to let them know about how people become pelvic floor therapists. And subscribe to our email list at instituteforpelvichealth.com to get your free guide, Four Tips for Managing Your Challenging spec Pelvic Exam. You'll get access to our weekly pelvic health content. And be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, where we post even more pelvic health tips. And we're thrilled to announce that we launched Beyond the Kegel, the only interdisciplinary AANP accredited online course for nurse practitioners and certified nurse midwives. Beyond the Kegel is six modules packed with practical information that you most likely didn't get in your training. You'll get videos, templates, and patient education handouts in English and Spanish, hands-on demos, and everything you need to confidently help your patients with pelvic floor dysfunction. By simplifying the pelvic floor, we'll improve patient outcomes and your provider experience. Thanks for watching and spreading the word. Let's revolutionize pelvic health. We'll see you soon.